Okay, so here we want to know how many milligrams, so how many milligrams in 50 grams. So if we have 50 grams, how many milligrams is that? Well, let's start with our simple ratio here. If I have one gram, right, how many milligrams do I have? Well, for every one gram I have, I have 1,000 milligrams. Let's write mg. So this is a ratio that's constant, right? So if I have two grams, then I've doubled the amount of grams, so I need to double the amount of milligrams. So with two grams, I'd have 2,000 milligrams. You imagine the size of a gram, right? A milligram is a thousand times smaller. So it takes a thousand milligrams to get one gram and two thousand milligrams to get two grams. If I multiplied this by 10 or, or 10 groups of two grams, I'd have 20 grams, right? Let's fix that, 20 grams. And I have to keep this ratio constant, so I have 20,000 milligrams. And essentially what's happening is, of course, <coughs> oh, excuse me, if I multiply my amount of grams by something, I must always rescale the milligrams by the same amount. So if I look at my unit ratio here, right, this is a unit ratio because it tells me how much milligrams are equal to one gram, I can simply multiply one gram by 50. And by doing that, I get 50 grams. But of course, I have to keep this proportionate, and I want to multiply 1,000 by the same amount to get 50,000 milligrams. And that is my answer here. There are 50,000 milligrams in 50 grams. All right, thanks.